What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and in today's video, we have another easy shiny hunting exploit location for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, guys, if you like these type of videos, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And today, we're going to be covering the Passage Pokemon Center right here, and we're going to be going over to this spot right here. So you can just begin on this passage and if you have the climb ability, you can climb up the wall or you can go around the mountain and take the long way and get over here. So let's go directly to the hunting spot. And you can see there's a lot of different Pokemon that you could potentially hunt with this location. But the thing is, there's a lot of Pokemon in this area to share the same type. So we're trying to go for isolated shiny hunts because honestly, those are way easier than trying to go for anything else. So the spot that we're trying to go for is actually right here. Pretty much where this dark grass is, where this tree is, is the spot we're trying to be at. And the spot is a good spot because there's a wall behind us. And if you have a wall behind you, it means no spawns are really going to come about right behind you. So we can just keep all the spawns pretty much directly in front of us. And you sort of want to line yourself up like in front of the dark grass here, but maybe not just in it. And we're going to make a save. Of course, this is going to be a safety save just in case anything bad happens. You know, you waste any Herba Mystica or something like that. You're good to go. You can just come back here. Now, for our first hunt, we're going to set up a picnic right here. And there's a quite a few decent hunts that you can actually get right here. The first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a fairy type sandwich here. And we're going to be getting a fan favorite fairy type Pokemon. Of course, there's a lot of recipes that can work for the fairy boost. But this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use one tomato and two salty. And of course, there's other recipes that will work. So check out the screen here and use them. And there we go. We got level three for fairy, tidal, sparkling, and encounter power. And then from this location right here, we're going to be getting the second form of the Tinkaton line spawning all over the place. And the shiny for this one is actually relatively easy to tell because the shiny hammer is going to be a copper color instead of the silver color. But if you are having problems seeing it, you could make a quick run through just in case to make sure you can see. This place does have blizzards, which does unfortunately lag the game a little bit. But if you are having problems seeing, you can do that. And then you can just hit the picnic to reset. And you're going to keep doing picnic resets until you eventually get the shiny. You have 30 minutes to get this. But of course, if you don't get the shiny, you can always just reset and try again. And we got our shiny Tinkatuff over here. So it is very important that you do save before actually encountering it because these guys can spawn in and then run away but once you have their attention they will attack you so you'll be good to go once you get the actual encounter but if they do spawn too far in the back then you may be in trouble so you want to be quick on it for sure and there we go we got shiny tinker tub as you can see the copper hammer is the only difference but it's pretty obvious that it is a shiny and there we go. We got ourselves a shiny Tinkatuff. However, that is not the only shiny that you can hunt in this location. There's actually a couple more good hunts that you can do here too. Now, our next sandwich is going to be a rock type sandwich. And this one's actually really interesting. And I actually didn't think about this before, but with one jalapeno and two salties, you can go make a very easy rock type sandwich. And there we go. We got rock level three for sparkling title and encounter and we're ready to begin this hunt. So this one's going to be pretty cool because we're going to be able to get midday lichen rock spawning in across the map. And for this one, you actually don't necessarily need to run around and look for them. I mean, it can help. Uh, for this one, though, I don't think it's actually necessary. The shiny is pretty obvious. It is blue. But you know what that means. If we can hunt midday during the daytime... I wonder what we can do at night. Now with a rock type sandwich during nighttime, you get midnight lichen rock instead of the midday lichen rock. So if you're trying to shiny hunt for both of these, it's worth doing the rock type hunt both during day and nighttime. And for our next hunt, we're gonna be going for some ground type Pokemon. There's actually only one ground type Pokemon that spawn up here. And that is gonna be the Mudsdale spawn. And Mudsdale and Mud Bray both spawn here as a cluster and an isolated spawn for Mudsdale. And there we go, level three for ground encounter, title, and sparkling. And we're gonna begin this hunt. Now for the Mudsdale hunt, you can see that we'll get a bunch of Mud Bray, a bunch of Mudsdale here. And you can just keep resetting. This is one of those hunts though where the spawns can be a little bit finicky on exactly where you are. So I recommend trying to be like right over here. 
But if the spawns aren't working out for you, because I'm sure I'll get a bad spawn in a moment, but these are actually pretty decent. You could just run around again. I do, because you can get some of that spawn right there. So you could run in a circle around the group or just run and check the one around the corner and then go back to the spot here and then do a reset. You know, that could be faster for you. It's gonna be up to your preference. This spot isn't the most perfect, but I'm sure I'll get a shiny eventually. And even though the ground type sandwich could be a little bit better with the spawns here, we did actually manage to get the shiny Mudsdale pretty much within two minutes, which is pretty good. I do wish the spawns were a bit better for this one. You may be a little bit better just like running out to see more of the spawns, but there we go. That is a shiny Mudsdale and this spot once again, killing it for us. Absolutely beautiful shiny. And for our last type hunt here, we're gonna be making a dragon type sandwich. So to do this, and there are a couple other recipes you can use. I'm gonna use an avocado. I'm gonna use two salty mysticas to get our dragon level three up. There we go, level three for sparkling title and encounter for dragon. And the dragon that we're gonna be able to hunt in this location is gonna be one of the cooler shinies for sure. It's gonna be Axu in Fracture, which is really cool. And I'll say for shiny Axu, it'll be a little bit hard to tell because around the neck is gonna be purple instead of that green. And that's gonna be your main difference on telling the difference on these guys. So for this one, I actually do recommend to run around in a circle and then go back and reset. Shiny Fracture will be very obvious when you do get that shiny, so you don't have to worry about that. But for Shiny Axu, yeah, you're gonna have to do a picnic and then run around. The big reason for this is honestly because they are green and then you have this really tall grass. It's gonna be really hard just to see the spawns in general. So honestly, it's just better to refresh, go around, you'll get your 15 spawns or even more because you are running around and then to come back and eventually you'll get your shiny. Probably not the best spot for Axu in the game to hunt this, but this is the best one I have found. And of course, if you have a better spot, you can let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. And of course, guys, that is the end of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Shiny Hunting exploit video. And if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon Shiny Hunting action. Peace out and have a great one.